In order to add a Google Analytics account and Google Webmaster Tools account to your template, you need to do the following things. First of all, go to Preferences, Website Preferences, and under SEO and Analytics tab, you can find these features. So let's talk about Google Analytics. To enable it, you just need to check the box. Then you need to have your own account or create a new one by following this link. It's totally for free. I already have one. So in order to get a tracking code, you need to go to Tracking Info and Tracking ID will be right here. Here's how it looks like. So I simply copy it and paste it right here. Let's talk about Google Webmaster Tools. We're going to do the same. We're going to check the box and I'll show you how to add a file name to your control panel. So if you do not have an account, you need to follow the link again to create a new one. I already do have one account and I have my template, my website attached to this account. So I'm going to click verify this site. And here are the instructions on how to verify your Google Webmaster Tools account with the website. So they offer you to download the verification file, the name of that file. So I'm going to copy it and paste it right here. Also, you need to download it, upload it to the root folder of your website, and then click Verify button. If you want to verify it using the meta tag, you click on Alternate Methods, HTML tag, and here you may copy the meta tag and paste it right here. You can do either one of the options. We prefer to use file name that's an easier option to activate the Google Webmaster tools, but you're welcome to use MetaTag as well if you want to. And the last feature in that section of our control panel is generate sitemap function. Each and every site should have a sitemap.xml file that will help Google robots to search a website. You can get more information by just clicking on that question mark right here.